Hello everybody, today I'm going to be walking everyone through my process on how I build some zero tick things. The first thing I'm going to build is going to be a 2x2 two two seamless glass piston door. So the final ending like state we want the door to be in is this. Right, so I think... The way we achieve this, right? These can just, that doesn't matter. This, this size is what we care about. I think we're going to do something like, I think this is the layout. Right? Because if we start like this, we do this. Then we do, yeah, actually, yeah, this is the, this is most definitely the layout. Cool. Basically, I think what we do is we use a nice circuit called an ABBA and just link it on up and do all the funny business like that. So if we have this, we'll do something like this. And then... As you can see here, we have our first zero tick of the ABBA. If we power that and then we step a tick, it instantly does that bit, which is cool. So yeah, now we just have to hook the rest of them up. For the bottom one, it's a little bit more tricky, but not too hard. You just have to take this signal from the bottom and then move it up to the top and then add bed. like that and then in order for this to actually be a a b c c b a you have to do this add the little reset here which is technically all it is but we'll actually use it for the three game tick thing and then just right here is the same thing like that so now you can see if i freeze it and do this and step a tick and it travels throughout the chain, which is pretty cool. This is basically the heart of all like complicated zero tick doors. Okay, so normally what I'd like to do is I like to use signs and I label the pistons that have to fire so I keep track of it in my brain. So this will be one, then we'll have two, three, and then this block right here which I'll actually use a barrier for, will be four. So then I'll just take this. String it on up like that. And then also a good helpful thing for zero tick doors is just to do that. Make sure blocks don't get pushed away because that's a pain. Then number two will be these right here. So I think I'll just power them like that. So it powers both of them. And that's a simple little fix like that. Then three, the third, we can get like this. And then the fourth, I guess I should link both these up, the top and the bottom. So, okay, so what you have to be careful of here is like quasi connectivity stuff. So, I might just use a transparent one for these top ones. Yeah. And then we need a three game tick at the end. So. Wait, I, why am I forgetting the one I normally do? I have one like, oh well, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, this is it right here. Yeah. There 
There we go. Um, and then we need the fourth thing right here, which will be this. So... Just gonna use a simple zero take gen like this. And then since we don't need to worry about the reset, I'll just do that. And then... Uh, I just added this top line here that takes this pulse and brings it up to the top and then added instead of having it like this because then it might update this I instead brought it up one higher and then just instantly updated it with a no block and uh, let's see if it works so we freeze the game we do that uh, one oh, okay yep, two three and then one two three wonderful beautiful so that's the closing and then the opening one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, beautiful. So that's just one side of the door like that. All we have to do is copy it on over here. Wonderful. And then the closing should work as well. I say closing, opening, you know, same thing. And therefore we have the door done. So if we freeze it, one, I hit instant close, uh, technically. And then that right there is uh, one, two, three, four. So technically this is 0 0.15, uh, is the, the close. And then if we time the opening, we have one, two, three, so 0 0.5, technically opening, but then 0.3 seamless and uh yeah that's the door as you can tell this door is uh, very very big and um you know i'm sure there's a million better ways to do it but just the way i do it and it's a good demonstration of some of the circuits we use thanks for watching me go through the trials and tribulations of building a zero tick door thanks for watching bye